Hi guys! This is my tutorial on how to create a dark tumbler with clear water slide. First, we're going to need our image. The image I'm using today was given to me by my customer who I made this design for originally around three years ago. If you would like to use the same image, I found one online. I searched Wicked Witch, Honey I Don't Take Orders in Google and it was one of the first images to pop up. I printed my image on Hayes Company Clear Water Slide and made sure I set my print settings to photo glossy paper to get the highest print resolution. Once your water slide is dry, seal it with Krylon Triple Thick Spray until it has a nice glossy sheen, and then we'll be ready to add it to our tumbler. I submerge the water slide in water until it loosens from the backing and slide it onto my tumbler. I then use a silicone face mask brush to remove any air bubbles. Let your water slide completely dry, seal with a coat of epoxy, then we'll be ready to add our spray paint. Using the cardstock as a guard to help keep the paint from our image, go around the tumbler and spray it all black. If you get a little overspray on the image, no worries, we'll be wiping it off later with alcohol and a paper towel. For the back, I like to use white spray paint so we have a nice base for our alcohol inks.
After you have your inks the way you like, let's blend our water slide even more with dispersion color and glitter. I already have about 15 milliliters of epoxy on my tumbler and I'm popping the bubbles with my torch. Now I'm going to take five milliliters of epoxy and mix in ebony dispersion color from CCDIY. In another cup, I'm going to mix in Mariner from Peachy Olive Glitters into another cup of epoxy. For this step, we're going to blend in the water slide even more by swirling the black epoxy all over the tumbler to give it a really cohesive look. Most of the glitter will also be added during this step. We want the glitter to be blended in with the black epoxy. This will give the tumbler depth and the effect of almost like an inner light. When the tumbler is done, this glitter will shine through at different angles, almost like an optical illusion. with your torch and then we're going to sprinkle on just a little bit of glitter on top just to add some sparkle to the forefront. Let this layer cure then add another layer of epoxy on top of that glitter. Let that cure and then we'll be ready to add our decals. and you can totally skip this step if you like, but I wanted to add a hint of sparkle and mix pure pigment powder from PDB Creative Studio into my epoxy. Let cure and you'll be all done. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Have fun making your water slide tumblers and I'll see you again next time. Bye.